Hi. Text cleaning is one of the major activity in a natural language processing pipeline. Sometimes real world data is very messy that you will spend most of the time cleaning the text before making it ready and to be fed into the model. So in this video, we are going to see some handy methods and functions that you can use for cleaning NLP data. Now it, be, it will be a combination of custom written function and in some cases it will be packages that are ready to have available uh, and to use in your NLP pipeline. So let's get started. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, well-known data set fetch uh, 20 news groups. The 20 news group data set is available as part of scikit-learn data set. So I'm just importing from scikit-learn data sets import uh, fetch 20 news group, 20 news group. And then what I'm doing is I'm just taking the training uh, data set out of it. There is a test as well, but I'm just going to use the training data set. I'm assigning it to news group underscore train. I'm just importing warnings. So any warnings that comes as part of some packages, I just want to ignore it so i'm just importing that and then i'm printing the type of news group train that is available as part of the scikit learn data set post that so uh, while this is downloading the data set and running it so what next i'm going to do is like it's, it's kind of a sk learn util bunch right so by the that's that's kind of an flat uh, data set that uh, they provide so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to put it into a pandas data frame so i'm importing pandas uh, over here and i'm telling them the data frame like take the news group train dot data and also the target uh, uh, column that are available so there are 19 categories in news group so this is the target column i'm taking i'm assigned to a panda pandas data frame so if you see like once i import into a pandas data frame and print, print it you can see it is only like kind of two rows the one row is basically all the uh, row, uh, all the different texts that are available and the row two is the uh, columns uh, the target value that are available so if you see basically the number of rows that are there in the data set it has flattened it out and created one wide row that is what the sk learn bunch uh, data set type is so what i have to do is i have to convert into a norm a normal row format like what i can do is i can take that particular pandas data frame again and I can transpose it. So what will happen? This columns that are there when I transpose it will become rows. So that's what I'm doing over here. I'm taking again a pandas data frame and taking the data and target uh, list values and I'm transposing dot t that I'm putting, I'm transposing it. And then I'm giving the column names as text and target. That is one part. And also what I'm doing is I'm again creating a target data frame. I am getting the names from it. I can do it in one data frame, but in this case, what I'm doing do it telling is get the target uh, names. Uh, so this target will be like seven, four, four, one, fourteen. It will be that kind of value. I need to know the actual name for the topic, whether it related to politics or sports or something like that. So I'm just getting the title as well. And then I am merging these two particular uh, data frame. So now if I run it, and uh, if you see like there are around when I do a count you can see there are around 11,314 rows uh, let me go with the title on the target on the output so if you see the target output these are the different um, uh, topics the differ these are the different categories that are available if I uh, take it as an uh, text classification problem so it is a multi-class text classification problem these are the different categories that are available and then what I am doing is I am from that from all this topic just to keep it simple over here I am just picking three topics out of it not all the 19 so what I doing is I am taking that ng how data frame uh, that we created on the top and then I'm querying it and I'm giving only that title in uh, sport hockey computer graphics and politics only these categories I am picking just to show uh, only a subset of data that's easy to visualize and clean as well so I'm picking only three topics out of it and then I'm assigning to the uh, final data frame so let me run this and uh, let's see like how much data is there out of 11,314 now we have only uh, 1,649 rows in this three category let me now print the output final data frame and what I'm doing is I'm setting like panda set option uh, column with equal to minus one typically the what happens like when pandas displays it if the column has too much of value it will truncate it to initial few rows 
but text column typically has a free for uh, data so i'm just setting it to minus one so that it can give me a larger with row now you can see basically that uh, the flattened uh, rows the flattened columns that we add on the top is converted into rows and then uh, basically here i have like uh, the target value that is 18 or uh, uh, whatever it is then i am also having like the target name as politics over here all right so that's what i have let me just quickly pull this to the uh, top and uh, you can basically uh, you just a minute yeah you can you can basically see like i have the text column i have the target column and the title column these are the three different columns i have and now if you see the data over here the data is very messy there is an email address typically when you are defining a text classification model an email address does not make any sense there are a lot of numeric values uh, there are a lot of version number and all these are all like uh, will create a lot of noise if you are building like a tfid of vectors or something like that right and there's a tab there is a new line character so this data is completely messy and there's one of the pretty good data set to play with messy data right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start my cleaning activity the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a custom function now i cannot handle everything but uh, i'm just going to show you some mechanism then i'm going to go to pre-built packages that can uh, speed on this process so what i'm doing the very first thing i'm importing is a regex package and then i'm defining a function called clean underscore text in the function I, I saw email on the top so i want to remove all the email so what i'm doing is i'm giving this regex format where i'm telling okay if it's a not well, non-white slash s means non-white space characters at means in the email there's add symbol in between and after that again a set of uh, non-white space characters and finally space characters right so uh, after email address typically to the next word there will be spaces so i want to take all of this and i want to replace it with an empty string so wherever there's a email i want to replace with the empty string then i have uh, assigned it to variable email then again i'm taking that again second variable and i'm searching for uh, slash dot slash s that is empty space characters and all also like a new line character so i want to remove the new line character as well and i want to remove all this uh, symbols like pipe greater than colon and, and all so i have created a function over there and now what i'm going to do is this function let me run it i'll just uh, select the first top 10 rows in this case right so or i'll just pick one row rather so that's what i'm doing in this case i'm picking like high lock of 10 where I'm picking the 10th row and you can see this is the 10th row. It has an email address over here. It has some slash and characters that is a new line characters and it has like greater than colon symbol and everything. So here I'm going to call the function clean text and I'm going to pass this particular one row and see how the conversion has happened, how well our uh, text has got clean. So that's what I'm doing. The clean text is the function I defined on the top. I'm passing the same value that you're seeing on the uh, top, the output of it. Now, if if you see over here the email is removed right so that was a from the email address the email is removed the new line characters are removed now so there are no more new line characters and wherever there are like this greater than symbol and everything it looks like uh, pretty clean now we have cleaned some part of data still there may be like double quotes and all which you want to remove you need to add additional methods uh, to the function so basically as we see your data is the more uh, number of regex function you will have right so this is this what the output looks like but this is very like tiresome right in every project you need to go you need to kind of do all this handling so is there a easy way yes so we are going to see some of the packages that will help us with this process the very first package i'm going to do is uh, clean text uh, you can just do a pip install clean text i have already installed it so what i'm going to do in this case is i am uh, from clean text i'm importing uh, clean and this clean is a function that is already defined so this clean function has a lot of methods if you see on the top if you don't want caressing symbol you can just uh, remove caressing symbol uh, no emails no phone numbers uh, no numbers re you can replace urls there is no digits so there are pre-built functions already available and you can also say when there is a currency symbol how do you want to handle it if by default it is handling it as uh, bracket cur or phone number bracket phone you can just replace it and say like empty codes or some other format so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the same text that we saw and then the same text let me print it again here is the uh, text the next command so the text is over here and what i'm going to do is in the clean text i'm going to follow 
uh, send this function i am telling like no line breaks equal to true and i'm telling no emails equal to true i don't want any emails over there i'm telling replace email with this uh, bracket email bracket and i'm telling like no numbers equal to true and number should be uh, re uh, replaced with an empty block right so let me run the output now and now if you see the text as clean and wherever there's a email there is a email symbol attached to it like in the slash email so basically there was a email at that place and typically if you quickly see like the numbers like 36 slash and slash and the numbers have been replaced with an uh, like empty space character so this clean text has a lot of predefined methods you can use it if you are removing some email or phone number or digits or like other characters like you can check the documentation for phone details now what i want to do is i want to quickly go and visualize the data right when i'm cleaning it so i can clean i can do tfidf i can do visualization of data and for that there's a package called text hero so i have already installed text hero so what i'm doing is for, i'm importing um, like text hero as hero uh, right over here and i am in my data frame that is the ng how underscore final that i have what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new column called tfidf so in order to visualize the data i need to convert this text data into a numeric representation or a vector representation typically i will run the tfidf algorithm manually right so here what i'm doing is i can use this text hero package to do all the cleaning and run the tfidf so here what i am telling is ng out final i am uh, giving a tfidf as a column that i want to create i am passing my text uh, column in the data frame i am piping it out and telling hero.clean so it will execute all the cleaning functions and if you see these are the cleaning functions fill in a lower case remove digit remove punctuation remove directors remove stop words remove white space there are a lot of things it will do and i'm telling hero.tfidf so it will contain that clean text and then in the next pipe it will like uh, convert it to into a vector representation that's what i am doing over here and after this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the ng out uh, tfidf column now let me run this and let me uh, talk on that so in this case i'm going to take the tfidf column i'm going to run a k means uh, clustering out of it and i'm telling n clusters equal to 3 i just want to because i have three uh, categories on the target right i picked um, politics i picked uh, hockey as sport and i picked some one other topic computer graphics so i'm clustering the data into three i quickly want to visualize and see are these three classes equal uh, uh, quickly separable if not there may be overlapping maybe i want to do some more pre-processing so that i can make these three classes separable so that's a good andy function uh, where i can uh, quickly visualize this so once the k means runs what it's going to do is uh, it's going to take the input as tfidf data in this case it's going to take the tfidf data it's going to separate into three different clusters and then it's going to create a new column called k means in the output file let me quickly run the uh, final data frame so in the final data frame if you see what it has done is it has uh, created two new columns that is five columns are there now and those five columns if you see over here it has basically had a uh, yeah, just this clash yeah it has added the tfidf vector and finally what it has done is it added the whether which cluster each of a each and every row belongs to this belongs to cluster two and if you go on the top this belongs to cluster zero and everything now have this cluster now what i want to also do is i need to take this vector uh, because there are like too many data right like tfidf it may create 100 um, uh, max features or 200 max features right or all the max features right what i'm doing is i'm taking this tfidf column i am running pca so that it can dimensionally reduce this particular huge sparse vector into like a two, uh, into like basically uh, two pca components right that's what it's going to do so i'm taking the tfidf final vector let me run this and then i am uh, running an uh, pca component and finally the pca uh, final i am assigning to the ng out final column as a uh, pca column now what i can do is i can create hero dot scatter plot what it will do is it will see like how these three classes look like uh, the dimensionality reduction re reduced uh, vectors so i'm passing my ng out final data frame i'm telling pca as my um, uh, variable that i have created i am telling the color it with the k means that is the different clusters i have created use the color for that and i'm just giving some title so once i run this 
what what's it going to do is it's going to show the visualize how these three uh, classes are separable and you can see like basically the three classes are classes are pretty much separable easily so it's a it's a good if you want to create a text classifier it gives you an idea that you can usually build a text classifier you don't need a lot of pre-processing if not you may want to go and run a pre-processing you want to maybe select the maximum future number or you want to reduce the document frequency and everything you can do it so these are like a uh, cluster uh, the Blue is the cluster two, the red is the cluster zero, and the green is the cluster one in this case. Right, so it's a good handy tool for visualizing it. The final function I want to show is uh, screw bar up. This other one function to clean the text. So I'm going to I've already installed it, and I'm going to import import uh, screw bar up over here. Right, and then I'm going to download the NLTK punk package, which is a sentence tokenizer. Now, again, let me print the text that I have, uh, which which we were using. I'm picking the iLock of tenth uh, text, which has all the email components and everything. And the screw bar above clean function. Basically, you can go and uh, see the documentation. Again, it has placeholders for email. It has placeholders for SSN number, phone number. There are a lot of pre-built functions that are available. So once I kind of run the clean function, Function, you can see all the emails are converted to email wherever it uh, thinks there's a name it is converted to name there may be a lot of false positives as well which we need to go and look or disable it so in order to disable it what I can do is I can uh, call the uh, scrubber uh, component from the screw bar dub and I can uh, what I'm telling is I am telling remove detector email Right, so that's what I'm doing. So I can just uh, remove like email detection only out of it, or remove the name detection out of it, or remove the phone number detection out of it. And now, once after I remove it, if you see the uh, final clean text out there, the email is kept as it is. The email is not suppressed. So you can kind of customize this as well. So a quick three packages that I showed you, one for visualization, two for cleaning the test, or you can, uh, not everything is available within the packages. You may want to customize with your own regex function and that also I showed. So these are handy utilities that you can use your NLP pipeline for cleaning the text. Uh, that's about it. Thank you very much.